Reports are a core feature found in both Tempo Timesheets and Tempo Planner, and they let you gather data from time that has already been logged or time that is planned for the future. In this lesson, you'll learn how to create a report for your team that enables them to see how they have spent their time this month. With this data, you and the team can gain valuable insights on productivity or work allocation, and this can help you make smarter decisions for how time should be spent in the future. You can filter for any type of data that you need, which makes reports very flexible. For example, you can generate a report from the time logged to JIRA projects, the billable hours logged to an account, and much more. To run a report for a team, you need access to their logged and or planned time data, and that requires the View Team Work Logs and or the View Team Plans permissions. As a team lead, you should already have these permissions for your team, but you can confirm this in the team permissions that were covered in the previous lesson in this course. To start off, select Reports from the sidebar, and you see that you can create a report on log time from Tempo Timesheets, or plan time from Tempo Planner, or plan versus actual from both Tempo products. To get started creating a new report based on your team's work logs, click on Log Time. In this dialog, set up what kind of data you want to see in the report. First, you can choose a filter to show only what you need. There are quite a few filters, but you know that this report should only contain certain teams, so select Teams and then select one or more teams from this list. Next, decide how you want to group the filtered data. For this report, user is already selected, but you may also want to see the JIRA projects and issues on which your team has spent their time, as well as epics. Note that the JIRA hierarchy is automatically used, so your data will be displayed this way in the report. Then click Create, and your new report is created. Notice that it looks a lot like the team timesheet that was covered in a previous lesson, but you'll see how it's a bit different. You can edit this report at any time by adding or removing filters here, or by adding or removing any of the group by options here. This allows you to easily change the data that's displayed, which is handy for saving several variations of a report. From here, choose a time period using the date range settings or choose from the available shortcuts. If you're looking for all the data for this month, choose Current, then Month, and click Apply. The report now shows all the log time data for your team for the current month. You can also choose to show more information by selecting options from the Grid View menu. You can, for example, also change the grid display from days to weeks to make things clearer. By default, logged hours are displayed but you can add the percentage of required hours that are already logged, and of course the required hours themselves, as well as these other options. Required hours are based on the team member's workload scheme. An organization can have different workload schemes for different time requirements, such as for full-time workers, part-time workers, and workers in a different country. Now all the data that you want to see for your team is in the report. When you're finished, click Save. And this is the key difference between Reports and the Team Timesheet. The timesheet can't be saved within the Tempo app. You get a reminder that this is a dynamic period report. This means that the data in the report is relative to the current date, which was determined when you chose current month, rather than a specific date range for the report. Dynamic reports like this one are useful for creating report templates, which you can do here. Because the data will auto-update each time that you open the report, give it a title like Team Monthly Report. All saved reports are available on the main reports page, so the next time you want to run this report, just select it from the saved reports. And all your data reappears. Of course, if you run this report next month, it will display data from that month because it's a dynamic report. Another thing that you can do with a report is to export the data for further analysis. Click Export and choose to save it in a spreadsheet format that can be used in Excel, QuickBooks, or another business application. To export a dynamic report in its current state, select PDF or print it directly. 
Generating a report of your team's time can give you insights into their productivity or available time. This lesson about generating a team report wraps up this course about Tempo Teams and the many tasks that team leads may need to perform. Thanks for joining us in this course. We hope that you now have a better understanding of what's possible with Tempo Teams.